Welcome to SAT Math Part 2, Algebra. My name is Amory, and I'm a tutor and instructor for Top Test Prep. In Part 1, we talked about how SAT Math combines both old and new. What's old are the formulas. These are formulas you learned in school. They're familiar tools that you have experience using. What's new and challenging about SAT Math is the problems themselves. SAT Math challenges you to apply what you know to untangle an unfamiliar problem and turn it into something recognizable. Here's a sample SAT algebra problem. If 10 more than twice a number is equal to 28, what is 6 times the number? In algebra class, we're used to dealing with numbers and variables, not sentences. Our job in this problem is to translate words into math. Let's break this down line by line. Translating words into math, 10 more than means plus 10. Twice a number in algebraic terms means 2n. And the last bit, translated into math, means equals 28. Written as an equation, we have 2n plus 10 equals 28. Now for the last part. What is 6 times the number? In algebraic terms, that's 6n, where n is our unknown variable. Using our first equation, we can solve for n. If 2n plus 10 equals 28, 2n is 18, and n equals 9. But we're not done. We need to find 6n. Plugging in 9 for n, we have 6n equals 6 times 9, which comes out to 54, our answer. SAT math covers geometry, algebra 1, and some algebra 2. SAT math combines both old and new because it challenges you to turn an unfamiliar problem into something you've seen before, using formulas you're familiar with. One way to do this on SAT algebra is to translate words into math. For more information on SAT or ACT prep, call 1-800-501-PREP or visit us at toptestprep.com.